Says she wanna ride up on it. I ain't playing no games, baby. Grind up on it. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Titilayo, and if this is your first time seeing me on your screen or stopping by on my channel, you are very welcome. And if this is not your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a date night get ready with me video just in time for valentine's day if you'd like to see how i achieved this look then make sure to keep on watching the skin tint, and baby girls need protecting i know she's freaky need you morning evening work me but all right guys so for the very first step i'm going in with my primer spray from skindinavia this is my holy grail i use it every single time and for moisturizer i'm going to be going in with the zost beauty vitamin c serum and um for primer i'm going in with my tatcha silk canvas primer and just putting this all over my face guys so it's date night that we're preparing for and you always want to make sure your makeup stays put because you don't want your partner to be able to find you clockable like you don't want to be clockable so to um, enhance the coverage of my makeup I'm going in with this translucent powder from airspawn and just putting that all over my face and then I'm going in with my foundation and I'm going in with this Lancome foundation I've had this for a hot minute and it's a little lighter than me so it takes a while to actually blend it in together to make it look presentable but then I actually like the consistency of this foundation so I'm just going in with my beauty blender and tapping that all over my face so for concealer I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal and this is the one in beautiful bronze I'm just putting this in the areas that I would usually conceal and I used this because I wanted a very full coverage concealer because again, you do not want to be cockable on date night, you know? So the very last part I usually blend in is under my eyes. So once I do that, I immediately go in with my Ben 9 Topaz powder and I just set this immediately and this will help to reduce the amount of creasing that I have underneath my eyes. And then I go in with the same brush as well as the Ben 9 Topaz powder and just place this powder on everywhere that I have highlighted. To bronze my face, I'm going in with my Zyron Face Definer and this is the one in dark. I'm taking that darkest shade and kind of using it to bronze up my face to bring a little life back into my face, a little color. Make your body say, hey, hey. I got the candle. And for my actual contour, I'm going in with my Coastal Scents Eyeshadow Hot Pot and this is the one in Deep Rose. Dream some more. To bake my face, I'm going in with my Cutty Airspun Translucent Powder and I also use this for my low lights as well. I really really like this powder for this step just because it's translucent and so it doesn't leave any cast. And then I'm just going to take my um, all over face powder and I'm using my Zikel powder in the shade Ebony and I'm just using this to dust off that excess powder as well as applying as well as apply it to the areas of my face that I did not contour. Going in with my Fenty Beauty Match Stick in Suede, I'm going to use this as an eyeshadow base. So I'm just applying this generously to my eyelids and I'm actually tapping this out with my hands because it has a very dry consistency so it's easier to blend out with your hands. 
going in with this shade that kind of matches um, my powder and this is from my Morphe 35 OM palette and I just applied that all over my lid so I'm doing a very very thin line I'm not exactly doing a winged eyeliner I'm just trying to tight line my eyes and I'm using my LA Colors eyeliner in black to do this I look into your face, all I can do is smile You like the perfect description, why I will walk a mile I see your pretty face, you make me wonder why If I could stop loving you, girl, it's gone So for my blush, I'm going in with my Juvia Stay Saharan Blush Palette Um, This is the volume one, and I'm taking that orange shade there in Toby and I'm just applying this to my cheeks and y'all can you see how beautiful this blush is now on the highest point of my face I'm going in with my M Milani Tantastic face and body bronzer and I'm just applying this to the highest point of my face as well as the bridge of my nose the tip of my nose and my inner tear dot <laughs> And then to kind of top it all off, I'm going in with Trophy Wife from Fenty Beauty. And I'm just going to take this and apply this over the Milani highlighter. And this just gives an extra pump. Like, this is actually a very, very nice combination of highlighters. <laughs> Make me feel so special, girl. I will not deny. You make me wanna give you all the things that you like. I'm on top of the world where you. So once I was done, I went in with my Scandinavia finishing spray just to set everything in. You know, just to make sure everything's all set in. So for my lipstick, I'm first of all taking this ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Star Crust, and I'm using this more as a lip liner. So I'm just taking this around the edges of my lips just to kind of line my lips. Just let me know when you are ready to go. I say I am ready just when you are ready baby girl. And then going in with my Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paints in the shade Uncensored. I'm applying this all over my lips. So I'm applying this very carefully because I'm trying not to go past the lining that we already did but I am applying this all over my lips no no and yeah guys that's the finished look as far as the makeup I look into your face, all I can do is smile You like the perfect description, why I will walk a mile I see your So moving on to the hair, I already did my hair off camera I just took off my silk scarf because I, w I had my hair set in under the scarf And I made sure to apply powder to um, make sure that I didn't have any demarcation between my hairline as well as my face and that's pretty much the finished look guys my outfit i got my bodysuit from shein such an amazing color i think it's so nice the design is absolutely perfect and i paired them up with um some work pants that i got a couple of years back and these silver shoes that i got from the designer shoe warehouse these are actually steve madden shoes my clutch is from aldo and it's actually like a very unique purse because it's a water filled purse i don't know how to explain it but it's pretty much water and glitter inside of the purse hope you all enjoyed this look and if you do recreate this for valentine's day make sure to tag me and i hope you all have a wonderful wonderful season of love have a wonderful day and I'll see you all in my next video, God willing.